Hello. The objective of this video is to learn how to convert units of volume and area. Now, let's start off by looking at one yard. When you're converting one yard, one yard is one, two, three feet. So if you wanted to know how many feet there were in two yards, you would do two times three, and you would get six feet. 3 times 3 will give you the 9 feet within 3 yards. 4 yards would have 4 times 3, which would be 12 feet. Now, it would be nice if we could use that same conversion of 3 feet per yard. But when it comes to volume and area, there's a little bit of a problem with that. And that comes down to looking at it a little differently here. Here are, let's say this is a straight line, three units. Each one of these little squares here is actually one foot. Now, if I'm doing conversions here, I would have two of these would give me the six, three would give me the nine, four gives me the 12. But when it comes to area, it's going to be a little different. This is a square yard, and one square yard is not going to be equal to one square foot. This is one square foot, and even if I did three of them, three square feet would be this. This is actually a three by three, so it is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There are nine square feet in a square yard. So in working with area, it looks like I have to square my conversion. Let's test that. Let's say we're working with a generic conversion of area. Doesn't matter if it's feet or yards. Let's take a look at something different. Let's say we have a unit that converts with four. If it was a straight line, there'd be four units for every one unit of the one measure, the larger measure. This would be a square four. And being the square of the smaller unit would actually be one, two, three, it'd be four times four, it'd be 16 square. So if you had a conversion that said you had four units for every one, when you went to the area, you'd actually have 16 units for every one square unit of the larger. If you had a conversion that was five for the length, the area would have five by five, which would make it 25 squares. So it seems like whatever conversion you're using for length, you have to square it to use it for your area such that if I have one square yard, two square yards would be two times three squared, which would be two times nine, which is 18 yards, or 18 square feet. One more, three square yards is 27 square feet. And we're gonna talk about cubes in a moment. So when you have units, when you have square units and you want to convert, you have to square the conversion before multiplying. This can be written as one yard squared is equal to three feet per yard squared, which would then be both of these items squared. Three squared is nine, one squared is one. So you'd end up with nine square feet over one square yard. Multiplying those, you end up with nine square feet. That could also be written as one yard times a yard times three feet per yard times three feet per yard. Because we have to cancel out two of these yards, so we have to multiply by three twice, which gives us one times nine, again, which still ends up with nine feet squared.
Let's see some examples of this. Here we have 10 feet squared. And we want to convert to meters squared. Now, according to our FCAT reference sheet, if we're converting feet to meters, every one foot, every one foot is 0 0.305 meters. Notice I put the feet on the bottom, so the feet will cancel out. And the meters on top, so I'm left with meters. But again, of course, this is single feet. I want squared, so I have to square this. Which means I'm going to be doing 10 times 0 0.305 yeah, 0 squared. Now I break out my calculator. Ten times point zero uh, ten times point three zero five times point three zero five, which is three zero five squared, you end up with point nine three zero two five. Round it to the nearest hundredth, which is generally what they're going to ask you to do, you would get 0 0.93 meters squared for your answer. Now, kilometers, when converting kilometers, first thing you do is rewrite your units as they are, multiply it by a fraction. That fraction is going to have kilometers on the bottom and your new unit of meters on the top. For every one kilometer, you have 1,000 meters. But again, we're talking about square kilometers, which means we need to square the conversion, which means I'm going to be doing 3.2, 3.2, times 1,000 squared, which is going to give me a really big number here. Let's see, 3.2 times 1,000 times 1,000, I get 3.2 million. 3 point, well, 3,200,000. Meters squared. That's a lot of square meters. All right, now, what about cubic units? I told you we were going to get to that. When we were talking about the square yard, we said there were nine square feet in a square yard. But when you go three dimensional here, you're going to have three times as many cubic feet as you would having just plain square feet. So one cubic yard is going to have three times three times three. Three cubed here for the conversion. So when you're working with square units, you need to square the conversion, when converting cubic units, you need to cube the conversion. One yard cubed is going to be multiplied by three feet per yard cubed. Three cubed is three times three times three, which is going to give you the 27. Multiplying those, you get 27 cubic feet. Now, in our example here, we have 130 cubic, cubic centimeters. And we want to convert that to cubic inches. So we're going to take that 130 cm cubed. We're going to multiply that by the conversion, which according to the FCAT reference sheet, one centimeter, one centimeter is equal to 0 0.39 inches. But we're not going to multiply that directly. We're going to need to cube that. 
So what we're going to have is 130 times 0 0.39 to the third power, which is going to be 0 0.39 times 0 0.39 times 0 0.39. And we multiply that by the 130, and I get 7.71147, rounded to the nearest hundredth, will be 7.71 inches cubed. Uh, let's try a couple of you do's here, because the best way to learn math is to do math. So here are three you do's. Pause the video, give them a try. Welcome back. For this, you're going to be doing 2.8 times the conversion of uh, 100 centimeters per meter squared. So you're going to be doing 10,000 times 2.8. So you're going to get 280,000. 280,000, I think. Let me just, 100 times 100 times 2.8. Ah, added an extra zero in there. 28,000. See, even when you're pretty good at math, you still need to t occasionally double check your stuff with a calculator. All right, miles to kilometers. We're going to do miles to kilometers. 25 miles. Uh, that's going to be miles on the bottom with kilometers on the top. According to the FCAT reference sheet, one mile is 1.61 kilometers. We're going to have to square that. So we do 1.61 times 1.61. Then we multiply the result by 25. And I get 64.8025, which round to the nearest hundredth would be 64.80. And that would be kilometers squared. Just like this was centimeters squared. The last one here. 23 inches cubed. This was squared. 23 inches cubed. We're going to be multiplying that by the number of inches per centimeter. Inches on centimeters. Inches is on the bottom. One inch is equal to 0 0.39 centimeters. Now we're going to be cubing that. So we do 0.39 times 0.39 times 0.39 times the 23. And I get 1.364337, which round to 1.36 centimeters cubed which does not sound right at all because that's a wrong conversion one inch is not 0.39 one inch is 2.54 centimeters I knew there was something wrong there 2.54 times 2.54 times 2.54 times 23 that's a bit better 376.90 376.90 centimeters cubed now how did I know there was something wrong with my calculation I had the right number here just it was the wrong thing one inch was equal to 2.54 centimeters not 0.39 how did I know my final answer ended up being smaller than 23 and I know the centimeter is smaller than the inch. So I know I should have a lot more cubic centimeters than I should have cubic inches. So when I saw that, I realized I must have had a mistake, and I double-checked my work. Right. That's the answer here. That's the answer here. See you in class.